are starting to heed the warning from the State Department about avoiding cruises. Cancellations out of Mobile are up, but conventions, which brings 300,000 people to the port city annually, appear to be doing fine right now. At the convention center, crews cleaning up from last week's boat show, getting ready for the next convention this week. The American Coal Directors Association are, are flying in as we speak and filtering into Mobile tomorrow. 3,000 people are expected to attend. They'll be greeted with hand sanitizer at every turn. The common theme right now in our convention center is that everyone's staffing up uh, with housekeepers and public space attendants, hitting this high touch areas like elevator knobs and, and door plates and having extra sanitizers out. Visit Mobile President and CEO David Clark says so far they've not had any conventions cancel. A different story at the cruise terminal where cancellations are about 10 times higher than normal. Waterfront coordinator Jim Snowden says the last and upcoming voyages out of Mobile, roughly 5% of passengers decided not to sail. It's about 140 people our last cruise out of uh, 2,600 uh, passengers 140 canceled. Clark says cruising is a large contributor to the local economy. Roughly the population of Mobile sails out of the carnival ship annually and book 27,000 hotel room nights a year. So it's really big business uh, for Mobile and uh, it really drives the economy. The last fiscal year, the cruise ship through parking and wharfage fees alone generated $6 million for the city's coffers.